My name is William Justice. Today we're going to experiment with tracking and expressions, control animations, and video playback in DaVinci Resolve Fusion. But before we get started, I'm just a bit thirsty. I think I need a drink. So to create this video, I put a couple of trackers on my fingers and used some expressions to measure the distance between my fingers. And as a percentage, I used that distance to control the animation and video playback. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, like this video, comment below, let me know what you think. I'd really love to hear from you. Let's get started. Okay, this is not too difficult to set up. We have a couple of clips here in the timeline. The first clip is the one where I'm pinching my fingers right there. The second clip is the pouring of the orange juice. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take these, both of these clips, bring them into Fusion, track my fingertips, and measure the distance between the fingertips and use that to control the orange juice clip. So the first thing we're gonna do is take the orange juice clip and put it right on top of the fingers, highlight both, and we're gonna make a Fusion clip out of this. So we're gonna right click on these and say new Fusion clip. And we'll go into Fusion by clicking Fusion at the bottom of the screen. So we have both clips loaded into Fusion now. The orange juice clip is on top of the fingers clip. Um, they're going into this merge. We'll put the uh, orange juice on top. This is the green one. And we can move it over to the side. And you can see that it's sitting on top. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the merge and move this orange juice over to the side right there. With merge one selected, I'm gonna click the rectangle mask. And we're gonna use this to set which part of the orange juice we wanna see. We're gonna move this over a bit and make it the full height. So there we go, we have the fingers over here on the left and the orange juice filling on the right. So to get this set up, we first need to track my fingertips, then we're gonna compute that distance right there, and then we're gonna use, move that down, and then we're gonna use that distance to control the orange juice filling up and down. So this is pretty easy to do. What, all we need to do is add a tracker node in here. So right after media one, which is the, the finger pinch clip, we just need to add a tracker. So let's select media and one, hit control space, and search for tracker, and add that. We've added the tracker, and you'll notice that there's this little red box here. What the tracker does is it allows you to identify an area or a pattern on the screen. And as the video plays, the tracker is going to record the position of that pattern throughout the video. And in this case, that's my fingertip. We have a this red box here. So we're gonna take this and we're gonna move it right on top of my fingertip. What you do is there's this little square right here in the corner. And you click that and it allows you to zoom in and pick the object that you wanna track. The inner box, lets you set what you're tracking. So I'm gonna put it right around my fingertip. And the outer box is kind of like a search area where it's looking for that pattern. So we make that just a little bit bigger. And this is something you kind of need to play with. Now you notice that we did this here and we're kind of in the middle. So the, usually what I like to do is go to the very first frame. So let's move this over to the first frame and you'll see that my finger moves. So let's move the tracking point, the tracking box right up here. And this is where it's gonna start tracking. So the nice thing about the tracker is you can actually add multiple track points in. Let's add a tracker for my thumb. We're gonna click in the tracker list over here. We're gonna click add and you'll see we have tracker number two. And that's this green box here. Let's move that over to my thumb. The thumb is a little bit bigger, so let's increase the size a bit and make the search box a little bit bigger right in there. Okay, now that we have both of those set, um, we wanna make sure we're on the first frame. So you see if we move the, the playhead, the tracking positions aren't moving yet. So we're gonna go to the first frame, make sure that we're right on where the fingers are, right in the middle. We're gonna hit the track forward button and that's gonna go through the entire video and track these objects and points and save data for where they're located at each frame in the video. Okay, that's close enough. So you see that as the video moves, we have this tracking data here. So for every frame, there's a point that we can use 
to either animate or do a computation. Let's click off that tracker. We're gonna use the tracking data to put the little green tracker square on top of my fingers. So let's go to the media pool, and this is this little uh, spot tracking image. We're gonna drag this into the node area, merge it in with the node tree, and we want, we want this to follow where my finger is. So right now we have the merge and we can move it up to where my finger goes. When we play the video, it's not gonna be there. So it's really easy to get it to, to track. You go to merge, and this is the position of where that object is in the composition. So we can right click on center and do connect to, and this is gonna show us the different data that we can use for the center property. So we're gonna to connect to the tracker path one position. So what this means is the little green box is gonna follow the tracker. Let's do it for the other one. This is the green box. We can just take the output of this and drag it into the output of the merge to create another merge. And that gives us a second green box. And we want it to track that one. So let's go to the merge, right click on position. And we're gonna connect that position to tracker path two position. And now we have both boxes are following my fingers. How do we actually get this position data and do a calculation on it? It's actually very simple. So we're gonna use a text node so we can see what's going on. We're gonna take the text node and drag it in. We're gonna take the output of the text and drag it into the output of the merge to create another merge. And we have our text here. So let's take that and we're gonna move it up, just up here out of the way right now so we can see it and make the text a little bit bigger. And we're going to hit the horizontal anchor on the left. So that allows us to position it a little bit better because we're gonna get a big number in there. So to get the tracking data, let's um, go to the text one. We're gonna hit the, we're gonna pin text one up here and we're gonna hit the, select the tracker. Now, so what this means is we have tracker one up there and the text is down below. So both of these are in the inspector. In the tracker list, we can hit tracker one and the position right here is tracked center one. You notice for every frame, these numbers move. So that's the position coordinates for where it tracked for that one. Tracker two is the same way. To get that coordinate and actually do a computation on it, all we need to do is go to the text node and we're gonna right click on style text and hit expression. And I'm just doing this so that you can see it. You don't really have to use the text node to do it, but this lets you see what's happening. And we're gonna hit this plus here and we're gonna drag it up to tracked center one. Now everything goes red because this is really a point and it's not a data that you can use, but it has X, Y coordinates. So if we do dot Y, enter, that's the Y position of the top track. And you'll see it's changing. So let's do the same thing for the second track. Okay, so we have our track center one. Let's copy that. And we're gonna subtract off, that's a minus, the track position two. And you'll see there's the difference. So what we wanna do is we really wanna turn this into a percentage. And then we're gonna use that percentage to set the percentage fill on the orange juice. To do that, you kind of need to go through here and try to find the highest value. Okay, so let's try to find the highest value. It looks like the highest value is about 0.36. So to get a percentage, we're gonna get the difference and we're gonna divide it, divide it by 0.36. So when we divide 0.36 by about 0.36, that's gonna be about one. So that's gonna be about our 100%. We're gonna take this difference here, let's put parentheses around it so we can get the difference first and then we're gonna divide it by 0.36. And that should give us a number that's going from almost one to up and down. So that's, that's what we're gonna use for our value. So real quick, I'm just gonna turn this into a percentage so we can kind of see it. So I'm gonna type in floor of that, and that's gonna take the value and strip off the decimal places. And we're gonna multiply this times 100, and we get 90, so that's our percentage. And so on the end of this, let's put dot, dot, quote, percent. That's just gonna do a percent for our, our number up there. We'll hit enter, so we got 48%. That's just a visual so you can kind of see what it is. It's not really gonna be used to do the animation. Okay, so it's not, now it's time to make the orange juice move the way we want to. So that's this media N2 right here. With media N2 selected, hit control space and search for time speed. So time speed allows you to adjust how a clip plays. You can make it go faster, slower, you can delay it. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna set the speed actually to zero. When the speed is set to zero, you'll notice it doesn't move at all. We're gonna animate the delay property to get it to fill and go up and down. 
So what we want to do is go to kind of the very end of it. What's the highest number there? So it looks like about, about one, let's say 138. We'll go with 138. 138 is completely full. So about 138 is the max. So if we multiply our max value, say one th frame 138, and we're multiplying it times, times 0.1, which is like 10%, we're gonna be around frame 13 or 14 in the delay. So let's right click on delay and choose expression. Let's see, if, so if we type in frame 20, it's gonna to go to frame 20. So let's go to 138, kind of multiply that times our tracker one Y position minus the tracker two Y position, divide by 0.36. So that, that is our percentage. So you'll notice now that this is set, this value is going to change. And this is the frame that's being displayed and it's gonna change based on the percentage that my fingers are apart. Let's see what it looks like. So we can also use this to animate the size of something. Let's, uh, let's bring in this logo here and merge it in, make it a bit bigger. And let's do a, add a transform node. And we're gonna use the same thing to animate this size property. So we're gonna right click on size and say expression. And the expression is gonna be basically our percentage. It's gonna be the, the, track, the difference in the tracker Y divided by the max, which is we figured out as around 0.36. It doesn't have to be exact. And now we have that one animating as well. I kind of did a little cheat. I only used the Y position of these points. Um, if you have the XY coordinates of both points, you can use a formula. I'm gonna put it up on the screen to get the actual distance. So if my fingers weren't on top of each other, if they were going side to side or a little more diagonal, you might wanna use a little more complicated formula to compute the distance. I don't know exactly what you would use this for, but I thought it was kind of interesting. I wanted to see if I could get some expressions and some computations actually driving the playback of a clip and controlling how it plays, the speed, and the direction. Okay, so we've used some tracking and expressions to control video playback and animations in DaVinci Resolve Fusion. It's not too hard, just takes a little bit of a setup. Subscribe if you like this video. If you have any comments or questions, leave them below. I'd love to hear from you, and I will definitely get right back to you. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.